What's up, Beat 3 Outdoors? We're back today. It's been a while, I know, but we're doing something a little bit different. Since this is technically not my project, I'm helping doing it, uh, but it's technically not my idea. It is her. So I'm going to let her explain the situation and uh, a little bit of what we're going to do. Okay, so Bradley has been a bow hunter, is a fan of archery. Brooke is a fan of archery, but Brooke has no bow. When people try to give Brooke their bow, Brooke's left-handed. Brooke can't shoot other people's bows. So I've been looking, and I went to Cabela's, and they just so happened to have a sale for like half off the bow I've been looking at, which was great. I mean, I paid right then and there, and I got it. I mean, there's just one problem, and it's, it, it's purple. I don't like purple. No offense to you ladies who like the purple and pink camos, but it doesn't tickle my fancy, so... The limbs are gray, and like it looks like a little fake carbon fiber, so that's fine, but the purple, the purple's gotta go. So I went up to the archery shop and asked how much it was to dip it, and they want 150 bucks, which still, honestly, with 150 bucks and everything I've invested, keeps me lower than the original price of the bow, but I figured we could just redneckify it a little bit and dip it ourselves with some spray paint and a tub full of water. So we got the spray paint. Tonight we're just gonna... Spray paint a base layer of like the sand camo on here, just to act so always the dip has something to adhere to. And you guys will watch the whole process. So I don't really know if it's gonna work, but I feel like I can't really mess it up either. So here we go. So the order of process tonight, I'm gonna take it apart. Uh, so I'll time lapse that. So if you never took the bow apart, uh, this is a little bit different because it has what they call the easy adjusting system. So it has like four or five extra sure bolts in there. So maybe a little difficult for me to take it apart to begin with, but once I learn it, it won't be that bad. Um, but I will time lapse that next, and then we'll go straight to uh, spray painting uh, the base layer, which will also be time lapse. So you can see all that, and then hopefully tomorrow we can actually do the redneck hydro dip on it, because um, why spend one hundred fifty dollars? So here we go. So here is the base layer. It looks really good. It's like a sand color, khaki color. I don't know. It looks really good. All I know is that if the dipping doesn't work out, I'm just going to spray paint it this color and leave it. But we are going to try the dipping tomorrow. So we're going to fast forward to tomorrow now. All right, we're back. So we got the riser. We got our tub, we got our spray paint, and we are going to try and dip this. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna try it because I don't think we can really mess it up. Yep, so here we go. Now I'll grab the black. So the black's up to me. Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yep.
So here is our finished product. I think it looks pretty good. I don't know, it looks good. I don't know if it could look bad, but it looks good. I like it, so we're gonna hang it here and dry. Bradley's gonna get some good pictures of it for you guys. And we're gonna put a clear coat on it because it chips really easily. And then we're gonna put it back together and we're gonna be using it soon. But overall, it was pretty easy. It took pretty well, and now it looks pretty good. All right, so now that this is done, this is gonna dry, then Bradley's gonna hang it up and he's gonna spray a clear coat on it while I'm at work, and he's gonna time lapse that for all of you guys. And hopefully, it'll come out well, it should. Um, just stay tuned for the time lapse and we will see you on the flip side. shoots well. Everything is perfect. Overall, came out better than I expected. I think it looks really good. Beats $150. So now I got $120 more to spend. Um, thank you for watching B3 Outdoors. Make every adventure one to remember.